Hey Kevin, what you got there? I have got some original art, and I'll show it off in just a moment here. Nice. Um, I have I've mentioned before that I usually for Christmas every year, my family doesn't know what to get me, so I will always send them a link of, hey, there's this there's this hundred dollar piece of original art or this fifty dollar piece of original art from whatever series that I think should be cool. You guys can all get together, buy it buy it for me. That's all you need to get me because I think that's neat. Original art is kind of expensive, and you know I I never really save up for it myself, and so I. You just never make the make the time. But anyway, and you so, also end up getting to own an actual piece of the comic book that you love. Like that's really, I think, the exciting part. Like there's yeah. not duplicates of it. There's no. Not, there, it's the actual page that went into the printing. That process. went into the printing press. Yeah. That the that. Um, so what I have here, I have a few things. Um, this one is probably one of my favorites because it because it has. And I'll show it in a minute. It has uh, Mercury of the Metal Man. It has Doc Magnus, and it's from one of my favorite series of the last. 10 years, 52, and it's 52 page, uh, 20 from issue 14. Let's see if you can see that. But it's pencils by Dale Eaglesham, who was uh, doing, up until recently, was doing the work on Fantastic Four. Fantastic. Um, it's really, and, and it's signed by him, it's great. Um, You're going to have to take it out of the shiny. I'm going to have to take it out of the shiny, damn it. Yeah. Well, I'll do this next one first. Okay. You want to take this out of the shiny? I'll take it out of the shiny. This one, um, by Kurt Busiek, Astro City number twelve. Kurt Busiek and and <coughs> Dale Anderson. This is um, Brass Monkey. That funky monkey. It's a, it, it, He's basically uh, and and Jack in the Box is is the is the hero. He's basically a Spider Man character. Um, and Brass Monkey is just a literal uh, animated brass monkey, and he was really strong. It's a really really good series. And would you say he was a funky monkey? He's kind of funky. Right. In that funk a was way. he was he a uh, Beastie Boys fan? Probably not. Oh. He, he seemed kind of angry. I don't think Beastie Boys fans fans are that angry. No, I don't think they're. No, I agree with that. Um, one of my favorites from when I was when I was reading comics when I was a kid was the Death of Superman series and right. the, the the Return of Superman with. Uh, Superboy and and Cyborg Superman and and Man of Steel and and the Eradicator. Eradicator. <laughs> How's um, that go again? Eradicator. Kids in the hall. Eradicator. And and so this is the scene where and look at that. There's something yeah. in the back. Um, this is the scene where Cyborg Superman turns on Superboy and shows his true colors and is evil. And it's a really good action scene. Um, so th that and and if you see these, you can see all the. Um, if if you buy original art, you can see all the the ink lines and and the, the brush strokes, and you can see that the the sound effects are pasted on. Um, womb. Yeah, and I'm used to womb being something else, but womb there it is. Apparently, there it's a sound effect. <laughs> you know, they talked about Barack Obama being in that womb. There it is. Yeah, yeah, they, and then it wasn't. It wasn't him, but wasn't I think him. that's uh, silly. Um, one of my favorite series of all time is Starman. James Robinson's Starman. And it's from is issue number any relation to the movie? No. No, he's not from space. He oh. goes to space. But his name's and, Starman. And so that, that's that's an actual issue or page from... What's going on what? here, Kevin? There's some loving time going Mommy, on. Mommy, daddy time? Mommy, daddy Didn't time. Didn't you call it like making two Spider-Mans time? Did I make it? I think I that's think what I, you called it before. Like what I did say, I call that? Uh, you just did. All right, I just did. Uh, one, my first piece of original art, GI Combat number two seventy eight, with with the haunted tank, or technically the the ghost of, um, I can't even remember his name now. The 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 Confederate war ghost uh, who haunts the haunted tank. Um, and if this was your first piece of of, of comic art that you mm -hmm. got. Why? Like, what? What because made you search it out? What was? What was the the impetus? Like, you're like, oh man, I would love to have some comic art. Hey, haunted tank, I must have you. Like, because it's a splash page, right? But it's a splash page, and I love the haunted tank. I think it's a great series. It's it was the right price. It was, I think it was only a hundred dollars. That's great. Um, it's from about 1983, so it's not too old. It's gettable, um, and it shows the main character. And it also shows, you know, some action going on, or the after effects of some action going on, and it's just, it's it's just a really really pretty piece. The art is pretty. Um, it's and again, I'm not I'm not doing these because they're collectible. A lot of people get get art original art because it's collectible. It's going to be go up in value. Like they'll get Jack Kirby stuff or you know whatever. 
I just like having. I don't original think Jack art. Kirby's putting out much these days. Well, I know, but that's why it's collectible. Oh. Yeah. And you know, just to show that I'm not doing it for collectability, <laughs> here, here is some Archie and Jughead uh, comics. With with a gag at the end. I mean, it's it, you know, it's a funny gag. It, you know, for can you just like rewrite the gag anytime you want? Like, do you make like xeroxes of it and then just sort of write in your own? I totally should. I yeah. should. And what's, what's I think great? you should make a whole comic of just that over and over that page over and over I will. with rewritten gags. And if you notice, Archie has inexplicably cowboy boots on. Oh. No reason, just cowboy boots. But it, I mean, it's good art, and 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 here Jughead is wearing the Wonder Man top. Remember when Wonder Man in the Marvels? Had, oh yeah, yeah, he he's wearing the Wonder Man top. He's uh, he's getting around. And my favorite. Um, I thought Haunted Tank was your favorite. Well, Haunted Tank was the first one, one of my favorites. His but first this, favorite. But this is this is his other from favorite. Derek Derek Robertson and uh -huh. um, Fabian Nicieza's run on the New Warriors. My favorite comic from from the from that early era. And that that's the great thing about the getting original art too is that. If you have some favorite issues from your early times, you can go to the the inkers sometimes are a good way of getting it, or the artists, yeah. uh, because they both get some pages. And they're, you know, if it's an older series, uh, if it's an older series, you can um, get a good price on it. And this is, again, this is, so that, that one has my favorite character of Speedball on it. Point to Speedball. Speedball is uh, right there, and he's jumping around in the back here. Somewhere that right there too. It's pretty cool. Right here. So that's all of my original art. I'm looking forward to getting some 3D more. Three D vision. Some more here soon, which brings us a little bit to. Well, yes, Kevin. If I were a fan of of comics, if I were, mm -hmm. because you know I'm not you hate at comics. all. I don't understand your funny books. Yeah. But if I were, and I were looking for, I want to say investment because that's not the right word, but looking to. Further appreciate the comics that I like. Mm -hmm. Where could I go to get some pages, some art such as what you have? Where could I go to be part of that club, Kevin? Well, I would suggest you go to SketchMaven.com. SketchMaven.com, you say? Oh yeah, totally. Wooka, they wooka. Actually, and wooka, wooka. Uh, obviously, SketchMaven is sponsoring us right now. And obviously, obviously, why we're wouldn't talking they? About it. Yeah, but they, that's the only reason we talk about things. <laughs> no, no, they, they, but they've got at, Sketch, at Sketch Maven, they've got original art for sale. Yeah, uh, from them and from peer to peer original art. Yep. You go through them, you post what you're selling, and uh, some of it's original comic art, some of it's sketches, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a great way of of finding pieces that that you may not be able to find anywhere else. Again, yeah. th these are one of a kind pieces. So if you you know, want a good price, and I, I've looked on there. They've got really good prices. I fully agree for yeah. uh, for original art that you're looking at, and and um, it's a it's a really it's a fun way to connect to um, the comics you love already. Right. And so I would give Sketch Maven a try. I think they're I think it's a great a great website. Yeah, yeah. You hear the sirens in the background? They're all there. Good. In a rush to go home to their computers to check out Sketch Maven. Yeah, they totally are. Uh, kidding aside, though, like I, did, I checked out the site the other day. I love it. Like I think it's great. Yeah, I, think it's... I found a few things. I'm not going to say what I found yet because then people are going to try to steal them. I already did. I, I found a few. <laughs> Damn it! I found a few things that I'm going to be ordering soon because there, there's some really cool art on there, and uh, my great 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 uncle died, and I've come into a lot of oh. money, and so I will be, really? I will be buying the whip now. Because really? really. now you're going to be like a superhero with that. That I mean, you just, you just sort of created your own superhero origin there. <laughs> yeah, totally. I've got a lot of money. <laughs> I must become a superhero. A superhero. Of Kay Malum shows up <laughs> once again. <laughs> but so yeah, check out uh, SketchMaven.com and let us know what art you get from them. Yeah. Show us. Show us uh, and if you guys have any of your original art that you've gotten from SketchMaven, or you just have. Post it on the uh, post a link on on the blog. Didn't you tell me you were going to start putting up art on Sketch Maven? S some Kevin Malcolm drawings. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah you know, yeah like like the uh, um, kitty hex. The kitty hex. Yeah, we'll yeah. put that up on there. See if anyone wants that for for three cents. I believe we'll start mm, there. That start is the a bidding bargain. at three cents. Yeah, yeah. Probably people want it more. Kitty hex. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> but uh, so SketchMaven.com and uh, check it out. 